So I was supposed to do this video probably about two days ago, but I kept putting it off because I, I don't know. I just, part of me thought it was irrelevant, but um, I keep getting confirmations that maybe I should just go ahead and do it. And what I'm going to say really um, may just apply to people, certain people. Um, sometimes you think something is just for you, but sometimes there are people who are going through the same, they are on the same path, I'll put it that way. They're on the same path that you are on at the same time that you are. And they may need to hear something that um, you've gotten clarity on, or maybe it'll help give them clarity. So, what I'm going to do is share, this was, well, like I said, probably about almost three days ago. Um, I was just having my quiet time and doing some praying, and then there was a dream that had come back to me that I was going to research. You know how you have dreams from, I, I write down my dreams, I haven't constantly done that. But there are some that I have written down. And there was one in particular one. I was going to look for one of my books. Looks like you tablets, paper pads in several places. And I just write them in what... I try to keep it, um, be consistent about where I put things. But anyway, I looked in this one book that I knew I um, had been writing some dreams in, some notes in. Um, but the particular dream I was looking for um, is not the one that I felt led to look into. I had discovered a while back um, this website that showed you how to look at dreams because the way I dream is never telling a complete story. You know how some people they have a dream and they tell it back to you and it's like it tells a story and it's like okay well, but what did it mean um, to you or, or what did what does it mean anyway but when I dream mine it's like and other people have this too but it's like there are it's like it's coded it's very coded and things are not connected so I found this site I don't know so uh, probably a few years back but never really looked into it much that talked about when you're looking at your dreams you have to look at um, not try to tell a story with them so to speak sometimes they tell a story sometimes they don't but you have to look at the things in the dream because a lot of times your dreams are just full of symbols and codes and those are the things that you need to be researching because if you look at those things that are being emphasized in a dream it will tell a story so anyway I'm going to read this dream um, that I that I felt like I was led back to about three days ago to just look at in detail um, and I found out that it really pointed me to some things that I needed for now. So it makes more sense to me now. So I've been having those ha-ha moments. But anyway, this is from September 21st. Huh. And I was told to do this about three days ago. Today's the 21st. But anyway, this is September 21st. 2013 I wrote this down so I'm going to read you the dream I had in the left but this is you can tell this is very old it's childish but I kept it somebody gave me this uh, teddy bear um, diary some years ago and as you can see there's a lot of pages to use because they're by month um, but like I said if I come across a book that's laid around the house I grab it and I write in it. But anyway, I'm going to read the dream. Then I'm going to read to you the, um, the symbols and what I've discovered when I look 
those symbols up or this site. Okay, so. Um, okay, so I put here that I think I at the back of a church, and I know that I was. I was at the back of a church in an auditorium while a service was in process. In some kind of way, I got green paint in my mouth. Uh, but I had a whole bunch of little containers of paint and a lot of brushes. So if you're familiar with those paint kits, and I put that here to trigger my memory in here, it, I, I think I was working with some kind of paint kit. They were these, these paint by number kits. So you have the little uh, small round containers of paint. It was just all various colors. But anyway, some kind of way, paint got in my mouth. So I told you when I dream, I'm sure a lot of you can relate. When I dream, it's just like things just happen. And it's like I'm supposed to zone in on that, not try to make a story out of it. So anyway, I ended up with green paint in my mouth. But I'm at the back of this church with all these containers of paint and a lot of those small brushes. So again, like I told you, I think it was some kind of paint kit. That's what it reminded me of. Paint kits that I've had when I was a child. Um, I don't know what I was doing with them, but all of these various colors of paint and various brushes, which you only need one brush to paint, but I had a bunch of them. I don't know what I was trying to do. And it appeared like I was, because I had this green paint in my mouth, I didn't see how it got in there, but I had this green paint in my mouth. Um, and I was trying my best to keep quiet. I was trying to keep quiet. I wasn't painting anything, but in the dream, I knew I was trying to keep quiet. Sitting at the back of this auditorium, this church, uh, with this paint. And I wanted to gargle. I felt the urge to gargle. That's emphasizing here. I felt like I needed to gargle to get this green paint out my mouth. I had this bottle of water. Don't know where it came from. But I had this bottle of water. And it looked like crumbs were in it. So anyway, I found myself at some point waiting to leave the church. There was this long line at the back of the church. Now, this service or discussion, whatever is going on in this church, is still going on, but there are like, there is a very long line of people leaving, and I'm waiting to leave as well because I need to risk my mouth. And why I didn't in the tree, they just look for a bathroom to rinse my mouth. You'll see when I get to the uh, get to the uh, the symbols and the things that I saw that I looked up why why it was relevant, why they I dreamt this way. But anyway, uh, I'm waiting to get out. Uh, I all of a sudden when I'm out the church, I appear in this college dormitory um, I was looking for somewhere again to gargle it wasn't just risky it was gargling so obviously it had gotten into my throat this green paint I was looking for somewhere to gargle unfortunately I didn't want to pass through someone's bedroom in this college dormitory. That was the only way to get to a bathroom. So I left because I didn't want, I just didn't want to pass through anyone's bathroom. So I go from there to be at, on the back porch. And this back porch was the house that I grew up in. I'm on this back porch. They want to enter anyone's bedroom, so instead I went to the back porch of my old house. And that was all that I remembered of the dream. 
um, so anyway this is what these are the things that I looked up I looked up church just to see what this site would have to say about it um, and it says to dream that you are inside a church suggests that you are seeking for spiritual enlightenment and guidance you are looking to be uplifted in some way perhaps you have made some mistakes which have set you back on your path toward your goals with proper support you will get on the right track again alternatively the dream may also mean that you are questioning and debating your life path and where it is leading you are reevaluating what you want to do and the reevaluating part is the part that I took from that because I have been reevaluating um, things that I've heard over the pulpit you know things taken out of context versus what I actually read in context next point in the dream that I looked up was paint to see paint in your dream symbolizes expression of your inner emotions consider the color of the paint and how the color makes you feel it is this feeling that you need to express more in your waking life. So I saw lots and lots and lots of different paint. So uh, when I also looked up paint, um, well, I'm jumping ahead of it. Um, I get, I really, I really got down deeper into more than just um, the paint and the color. So let's move on to paintbrush. To see or use a paintbrush in your dream represents harmony and creativity. It also is symbolic of your artistic talents. So I know um, most people probably will just look at this as in, relate, in relation to fine art, but this resonated with me finding this out because be in a church like I said I've been getting confirmations over the past really prior to the past three days but um, just doing this whole um, COVID-19 um, quarantine experience you know that what um, is happening among people you know there are the people that have always um, so to speak been out front and then though there are those people who may have been more subdued um, that are really coming forth and it is a matter of using what God has placed in you um, not being pinned into a corner for us how you express yourself but just expressing freely how God gives you to express Okay, so that was the paintbrush. Colors. Colors in dreams represent energy, emotions, and vibes. First, consider what that single color in your dream means to you and your own, own personal associations and relationship with that color. In general, pale pastel colors indicate weakness or sub subtility. Dark colors represent passion and intensity. Bright colors mean awareness. So I had all of this going on in the dream, but one color that really stuck out was the green. Why was it in my mouth? Why did it get past my mouth to my throat? I knew it had to be in my throat because I felt like I needed to gargle. Personally, I have no attachment to green unless it's green money. But um, yeah, so that's what really made me want to zone in deeper on the green and listen to what it said green signifies a positive change good health growth fertility healing hope vigor vitality peace and serenity 
The appearance of the color may also be a way of telling you to go ahead. See? So, um, I've held back a lot on some things and that's about to change. Then also a thing I want to look at because there was this focus on me just, I really remember the dream. I just had to get this paint, paint out of my mouth. It's like it was driving me nuts. I can still recall that. So I looked up mouth. I couldn't find uh, anything about gargle, but I knew in the dream I felt I needed to gargle. Um, so that's why I looked up throat and I looked up mouth. Mouth says to see a mouth in your dream signifies you need to express yourself or talk about an issue that's bothering you. So, see, even with all these other symbols, th that word express keeps coming up. The pain express, express, express. The, the theme in here was express. When it came to the paint, when it came to the paint brushes, it was all about expressing. So let's get to the throat. Again, I looked up throat because I couldn't find gargle um, as anything in this dream dictionary. Um, so I looked up throat. It says to see your throat, which I didn't see my throat, but in the dream I needed to gargle. Okay, so the throat symbolizes in the dream the ability, again, express. Express yourself and communicate your thoughts and ideas. To dream that you have a sore throat, that was not the issue. To dream you have a throat problem. I had a throat problem because of the pain. Suggests that you are having problems saying what you really think. You are having difficulties experiencing how you feel and convey your thoughts. You may feel threatened or vulnerable when you express yourself. So I'm going to step back to the church. I had, and again, I want to, uh, not again, but I didn't say before, unlike say when I was reading that dream at the end when I was on the porch, I knew I was at the house that I grew up in. When I was in this church, the church did not look familiar. I don't know where, I knew I was in a church and I was in the auditorium, at the back of the auditorium. I knew how I felt when I was there but the church was unfamiliar to me. So I think it was just speaking in general. So I don't want anybody to get an assumption that it was a particular church or, you know, so it was just church in general. But um, I have had that challenge of feeling like I had something to say or something to convey or something God was giving me and there was a challenge trying to convey that maybe because the people I wanted to convey it to were not getting it or they were stuck in the things that they were taught by tradition and did not want to look at something that I was looking at that was right there in scripture. Moving on. The water bottle. I struggle with this because I know whether to look up bottle or um, water bottle. So I looked up water bottle and bottle. Um, it said to see or use a water bottle in your dream indicates that you're keeping your hopes up about something. It also means spiritual renewal and rejuvenation. So I took a little bit from that because I have no even with trying to express myself I've never just been totally shut up I've been convinced in some kind of way I'm going to get out what I need to say so just bottle in general it says to see a bottle in your dream indicates that you are pushing your feelings back inside rather than expressing them the content inside the bottle represents the nature of the emotions you are experiencing. Okay, so inside this bottle was water. 
To see water in your dreams symbolizes your subconscious and your emotional state of mind. Water is the living essence of the psyche and the flow of life energy. It also is symbolic of spirituality, knowledge, healing, and refreshment. The healing part, I note, goes back to one of the representations of the green paint. Another content of the Bible, of the bottle that I looked up was crumbs. And it said to see crumbs in your dreams suggests that you are feeling left out. I guess I could admit, from t- depending on circumstance, um, there have been times I felt left out. But, I always kept my hope there. That was that, um, that is what the, if I want to put it together, that's one of the symbols uh, that was found in this dictionary that said water bottle means you're keeping your hope up. So why was I not dreaming that um, I just need to get to rinse my mouth out? Why did in the church was I holding this bottle? Where would that have come from? had water in it, but I saw what looked like crumbs floating around. So anyway, moving on. I couldn't find college dormitory together, so I looked up dormitory, but I said, let's look up college too, just to make sure we zone in on. So it says college, to dream that you are in a college, so it was the college dormitory, indicates that you are going through some social or cultural changes you want to expand your knowledge and awareness and I I did Um, just because I was starting to look at things more clearly and I didn't want to be stuck in this is what a denomination teaches this is what a tradition teaches I wanted to see clearly what does scripture teach clearly What's going on with me? Uh, I lost my place. It says you want to expand your knowledge and awareness. It also suggests that now is a good time for you to experiment and try new things. And I do recall, I dreamt this in 2013. I was um, going through that time of experimenting with new things. Actually, in 2013 was the first time that I went on a cruise by myself. Seven day cruise. That's just one thing. And it led on to, from there, some other things. But anyway, dormitory. Looked up the word dormitory. To dream that you are in a dormitory represents the value you place on knowledge and education. And I I did. Like I said, I started reading things, you know, answers that I couldn't get um, or things I couldn't express um, inside of church. I, I just started exploring things on my own, even before this stream, really. But I mean, I really started digging in more on my own. You believe that you are constantly learning even when you are not in a classroom. Fact. Bathroom. Okay, I came to look up bathroom because I was like, why did I need to find a bathroom? Just having a bottle of water, even on the side of road, Gorgle, you know, dreams, you just don't know why you do what you do. But anyway, the dream says, the dream um, dictionary says, bathroom to dream that you cannot find the bathroom or that you have difficulty finding one so it wasn't that I couldn't find one it was the difficulty of it because of passing through a bedroom and I just wanted to find a bed a bathroom in a dormitory it says if you have a difficulty finding one it indicates that you have difficulties in releasing and expressing your emotions so there is a running thing if you're paying attention 
this espresso. I, the pe green paint is pressure. Um, some other things with the uh, paint brushes is pressing. All of the street kept springing back to it's pressing. Because most people, you probably think, okay, the paint, yeah, yeah it, because she was, but the, the, the bathroom, um, brings that word up again. Expressing, expressing emotions. You are holding back your true feelings about something. Not doing that anymore. Bathroom, okay. So I did not want to pass through a bedroom to get to a bathroom. So what is the issue with the bedroom? It says to dream that you're in a bedroom, uh, which I wasn't. I was trying to get, I didn't want to get into one. But in the dream, the bedroom signifies the aspects of yourself that you keep private and hidden. But I noted that this was other people's hidden motives. I knew after looking up this and just everything that I looked at that this had to do with me not wanting to pass through other people's hidden hidden motives because I have come connected with people that I felt like I could talk freely to or express certain, certain things to but I also knew that they had other agendas and I don't want people to read it too. Oh, because they had other beliefs. No, it was more than that. It was other agendas. Um, when you're dealing with things spiritually, you just know. And I just leave it at that. Uh, says it also is indicative. Uh, oh, never mind that. That's something else I should have taken off. So then the next word I looked up was home. So I looked up home first because I wanted to make sure I zoned in the specifics about this porch being related to home. Um, and it says it reflects the aspects of yourself that were prominent or developed during the time you lived in that home. And that's one thing I had to go back to. And I could see how all this was collecting together. Um, home represented for me that um, what had been developed was some people that know me well uh, know that when I was growing up, my mom, it was two different times she did this, but she bought me as a child one of the biggest Bibles um, and my favorite book of the Bible and it still is today was the book of Revelations now this was before I even became a teenager loved Revelations but um, I could get lost in reading and studying the book of Revelations but just different scriptures in general so my mother, she bought me this Bible with, um, I mean, a concordance that was so in-depth, so in-depth. And I still have it today. I mean, the cover has even fallen off this Bible, but I hold on to it. And the one that she bought me before uh, this one, where the cover falls off, it's still practically intact. But when she got me the last one, um, yeah, so um, home. I think it was pointing me back to I needed to return back to my roots. What was I doing originally? Outside of, you know, going to church, Sunday school, you know, all those classes, what was I doing? I was doing a lot of reading and studying on my own. Porch. To dream of a porch represents your personality, your social self. So I have found social media to be a great outlet. And a lot of people use it 
for their outlet. Actually, it is not a bad thing because I can see how people say, you know, if all you do is social media, you don't know how to communicate with people. But actually for me, because of my past experience, my past work experience and connections, um, I didn't have that issue. But also I have found with social media, um, my personal interests, my writing and things, actually the social media is what uh, connected me to things outside of social media uh, for other opportunities. So anyway, that's part of the porch. Um, It also mentions that Uh, The porch represents your facade or how you portray yourself to others. Uh, Consider the condition and size of the porch. In particular, to dream of an enclosed porch suggests your tendency to distance yourself. We did not have an enclosed porch. Our porch, uh, the back porch I was on, was open. video had cut off again. I hope I got that back in the right place. Um, Yeah, our porch, I would say, was um, open. There were stairs. There were... um, um, It was a wooden porch. The porch had been redone before um, I moved moved from home. But um, it was a wooden porch um, it had um, stairs and open railings, so there was no um, enclosure for it. You could just look out. Um, so anyway, uh, didn't have that. There was no privacy. It said if the porch was open, which ours was, then it signifies your outgoing nature and welcoming attitude. So though growing up, um, people, I was perceived as, you know, she's shy, she's quiet. Yes, I am very, um, can be very quiet unless you get close to me and, uh, really get to know me. I, so the more comfortable I am with you, the more I open up and talk. And there are people who can attest to that. So the closer I feel to you, the more open I am. So anyway, that was my dream. So to put all of that together, like I said, it may help somebody else. Maybe someone has had a similar dream and they're like, I don't know what the heck that meant. It was all over the place. But, um, you can relate um, if you're interested in where I look up my um, information about, you know, things from within my dream. Just hit me up. Let me know. But, um, yeah, so I took from that the paint and the paint brushes. Um, at that time in 2013, I was searching, um, still searching for um, ways to express myself. I've had a lot of things that were just subdued and I was going through um, even had some classes that I had attended um, that would you know just really look in depth at the things that um, I was taught growing up a face that I was not taught. Um, And then um, I have found with time that it was hard to express. You know, to really let, to really get out um, what I wanted to share with others or, or having people I could discuss what I feel because it's like when it comes to certain traditions, some people just cannot let go of their traditions. They cannot look deeper. Even if you're uh, saying, hey, let's just look at this scripture. They don't, they don't want to look because 
it will go outside of the narrative. And that's the thing. They're teaching narratives that are not in scripture. And it's like, we got to stick to the narrative. Like, but the narrative is in it. Video cut off again. So anyway, yeah, I have a problem with sticking to narratives that are not in scripture. Other people may have a problem with that. God doesn't. Because he is not the author of those narratives. So anyway, um, I hope this has helped somebody. Uh, maybe there are some dreams that you want to look into of your own. Um, scripture tells us that in end times there will be people dreaming. It, it says that. And um, when you are given dreams, some people make jokes about, oh, maybe it's something bad you ate. But on a serious, serious note, no, um, you, you are given those dreams for a purpose. And those, the secrets to those dreams, the revelation of those dreams may very be well may very well open up an answer maybe the key to an answer that you have been seeking so all I can say is pay attention to your dreams talk to you again soon